tell me, honestly, was Saddam Hussein an African man? I told you about the bonus coming. You have heard already someone claiming that Gaddafi was black. Now, the first link in the description box will be a link leading you to a video where you will hear someone claiming that Saddam Hussein was an African man. And we are told that it's not only an African man in, I'm paraphrasing in culture, but also in complexion. That I am not paraphrasing. That he is in complexion. That's the present tense because back then, Saddam Hussein was still alive. You will hear it from the horse's mouth. I will not say the name of the individual. I don't have beef with him. No animosity towards him. As a matter of fact, most of the time that I heard him speak, the few seconds, a few minutes that I heard him speak, he was not just the kind that's, that talks smack so often, like so many uh, Pan-African scholars. I'm not saying that he's a Pan-African either. So that's just disclaimer. I don't have anything against that person. I think he slipped up. I think uh, everybody can make an amendment. Sometimes people just don't want to make amendments. They don't want to admit that they made a mistake or an error. It is what it is up to them. They are the one living with that. Now, that being said, that being said, um, yesterday there was a, a situation with Umar Johnson. The condition. Is it psychology? Dealing with psychology and the, your house being so filthy. But you know what? You have many people who will be breaking down movies. You have many people in the so-called conscious community who are talking about metaphysics. At some point you might expect some people to break down this situation metaphysically and it will go a little something like this. If you look at the movie, coming to America, that's for the older generation. The younger generation might appreciate that movie, you can most likely find it online streaming. That movie was ahead of its time. It was mainly a black cast, which at the time you would not see often. Very well thought, great scenario, coming from a black man, an African-American brother, Eddie Murphy. The story is lovely. This is the bridge between Africa and us in America. And if you look at that movie, brother, well, He's a prince. And Umar Johnson is a prince of Pan-Africanism. Can't you see the connection? You need to activate your metaphysical thought. Guess what? That's not it. It's not over yet. The prince in the movie called Hakim, and you know we are Asiatic black man. That's a joke, y'all, just for the record. That's a pause. I'm just being humoristic, whether you laugh or not. I'm continuing on my metaphysical breakdown. So his name is Hakim. That's an Arabic name, yo. That's an Islamic name, yo. And you know we are Asiatic black man, but guess what he does? He's cleaning garbage. He's a janitor. And in one scene, he's talking to a senior hall, and a senior hall tells him, he's making a joke, but he says, well, you're gonna mop your way into her heart. And that's exactly what Umar Johnson is doing. He's mopping his way into our hearts, brother. Can't you see he has a school and the school also looks a hot mess? Not electric, how long he's been. He's doing it his own way. Sometimes it works in mysterious ways. That's the end, that's less than five minutes, God damn it. Brothers and sisters, it's on you. It's on you. It's on you. Future generation, this is the condition of your so-called scholars. Punk Pan-Africans, who are cool teachings that Africans are living a jungle life. Africans are not civilized. Well, for Pan-Africans, it's a fifth life. Filth life. 
I'm out this piece. I'm Shaka and Kemet. You better recognize, man. You better recognize. It was cool teaching that Africans are living a jungle life, wasn't it? It was cool teaching that Africans are not civilized, wasn't it? It was cool teaching that black people are cursed after they rebel from God and their phenotype, broad nose, nappy hair and thick lips is the essence of ugliness. It was cool teaching all that. It was cool teaching that we didn't have this phenotype before we rebelled against God. But that's what, it, that's what has been thought. That was the teaching of the Pan-Africans, of the Asiatic black men, for over a century. So that's just for the future generation. This generation is more than messed up, for real, man. I'm out this piece.